Hey y'all, it's me, Kevy. So I recently read great LGBTQ plus speeches through NetGalley, and in it, there's a speech by poet Essex Hemphill, and it was so good, I immediately went out and found a copy of his poetry and essay collection, Ceremonies. Hemphill was a gay black man who wrote about the intersection of these identities in the 80s and 90s before being lost to AIDS. Since his passing, all of his work has gone out of print. Only a single one of his poems is on the Poetry Foundation website. I'm so glad I was able to find ceremonies through the internet archive. Since his work is so hard to find, and because it is so beautiful, I wanted to make this video sharing a few of my favorite pieces from the collection. The first poem I want to read is called Visiting Hours. The government pays me $9,000 a year to protect the East Wing. So I haunt it. Visiting hours are over. The silent sentry is on duty. An electric eye patrols the premises. I'm just here putting mouth on the place. Modigliani whispers to Matisse. Matisse whispers to Picasso. I kiss the rose in my pocket and tip easy through this tomb of thieves. I'm weighted down with keys, flashlight, walkie-talkie, a gun, I'm expected to die if necessary, protecting European artwork that robbed color and movement from my life. I'm the ghost in the capital. I did Vietnam. My head is rigged with landmines, but I keep cool, waiting on every other Friday, kissing the rose, catching some trim. I'm not protecting any more Europeans with my life. I'll give this shit in here away before I die for it. Fuck a Rembrandt. And if I ever go off, you better look out, Mona Lisa. I'll run through this gallery with a can of red enamel paint and spray everything in sight like a cat in heat. This next poem is titled Occupied Territories. You are not to touch yourself in any way or be familiar with ecstasy. You are not to touch anyone of your own sex or outside of your race, then talk about it, photograph it, write it down in explicit details, or paint it red, orange, blue, or dance in honor of its power. Dance for its beauty. Dance because it's yours. You are not to touch other flesh without a police permit. You have no privacy. The state wants to seize your bed and sleep with you. The state wants to control your sexuality, your birth rate, your passion. The message is clear. Your penis, your vagina, your testicles, your womb, your anus, your orgasm, these belong to the state. You are not to touch yourself or be familiar with ecstasy. The erogenous zones are not demilitarized. Next, I'll be reading Now We Think about how gay life changed because of AIDS. Now we think as we fuck, this nut might kill us. There might be a pin-sized hole in the condom, a lethal leak. We stop kissing tall, dark strangers, sucking mustaches, putting lips, tongues, everywhere. We return to pictures, telephones, toys, recent lovers, private lives. Now we think as we fuck, this nut might kill. This kiss could turn to stone. The final poem I want to share is called The Tomb of Sorrow. This is a poem in several chapters, and for this video, I'll just be sharing the first two. The Tomb of Sorrow, one. Gunshots ring out above our heads as we sit beneath your favorite tree in this park called Meridian Hill, called Malcolm X, that you call the Tomb of Sorrow and claim to be its gatekeeper. In the cool air lingering after the rain, the men return to the wailing wall to throw laughter and sad glances into the fountains below. Or they scream out for a stud by any name, their beautiful asses rimmed by the moon. Gunshots ring out above our heads as we cock dance beneath your favorite tree. 
There are no invectives to use against us. We are exhausted from dreaming wet dreams, afraid of the passion that briefly consoles us. I ask no more of you than I ask of myself. No more guilt, no more pity. Occult risks await us at the edge of restraint. These are meaningless kisses, aren't they? That we pass back and forth like poppers and crack pipes. And for a fleeting moment, in a flash of heat and consent, we release our souls to hover above our bodies. We believe our shuddering orgasms are transcendental. Our loneliness manifests itself as seed we cannot take or give. Gunshots ring out above our heads. A few of us are seeking romance, others a piece of ass, some a stroke of dick. The rest of us are killing. The rest of us get killed. Two. When I die, honey child, my angels will be tall, black drag queens. I will eat their stockings as they fling them into the blue shadows of dawn. I will suck their purple lips to anoint my mouth for the utterance of prayer. My witnesses will have to answer to go-go music. Dancing and sweat will be required at my funeral. Someone will have to answer the mail I leave the messages on my phone service. Someone else will have to tend to the aching that drove me to seek soul. Everything different tests my faith. I have stood in places where the absence of light allowed me to live longer while at the same time it rendered me blind. I struggle against plagues, plots, pressure, paranoia. Everyone wants a price for my living. When I die, my angels, immaculate, black diva drag queens, all of them sequined and seductive, some of them will come back to haunt you. I promise, honey child. Y'all, aren't these poems fucking amazing? This is without a doubt the best poetry collection I have read since June Jordan. And there is so much other great stuff in ceremonies. There's a poem from the perspective of Nurse Eunice Rivers, who was the coordinator of the Tuskegee Syphilis Study. An essay about racism and the fetishization of black gay men. A beautiful essay about coming out to his grandmother and her reaction being, do the authorities know? And there's even an essay about the then newly released documentary, Paris is Burning. Ceremonies is a phenomenal collection. And like I said, the best poetry I've read since June Jordan. What do you think of these poems? Are you going to try to find a copy of Ceremonies? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if it pleases and sparkles, I'll see you in the next video. Mwah! Ha!